The following is a production of Learfield Sports. It's one of college football's greatest rivalries, and the 2015 edition occurred Saturday up at TCF Bank Stadium. We'll take a look at some of the highlights of the Badgers and the Minnesota Golden Gophers from Minneapolis in the annual battle for Paul Bunyan's axe. Our senior salute this week is on one of the captains, safety Michael Caputo, and then we'll talk in general terms about bowl planning. Coach Chris and his philosophy, what he wants to do with the players in the short term, and a big picture view of how he prepares for a postseason game. All of that coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. From the 13 of Minnesota, second and five, handoff field, gets a block from Watt to the 10, to the five, touchdown Wisconsin. Taiwan deal to the end zone. A haymaker block along the way from Derek Watt and the Badgers regain the lead. Ogumbawale, the running back. Stavi will give it to Ogumbawale off the left side. Gets a block to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Dare Ogumbawale and the Badgers make it a two-score game. He snapped the liner, winds up, hit as he throws, right side, and it's picked off by Tanner McAvoy. Make it a dozen years of the X in the state of Wisconsin. I think the story of the game was, and it was good to be on this end of it, was the turnover, the takeaways. You know, we got the takeaways, and, and I thought, you know, with the good field position, we took advantage of it and got some points out of it. And um, that's when you felt like you were playing off each other, and that was what was fun. You know, the defense makes a, a play like that to get the ball back, and, and offense was able to, you know, capitalize and turn it into to points. Looking under pressure, and down he goes. Back to throw, four-man rush, left side pass, Erickson wide open, at the 50, left side 40, and it's intercepted. Michael Caputo across the 30, goodbye, touchdown, Corey. Paul Crist is our new head football coach at the University of Wisconsin. Brought down by Vince Beagle. That's a sack. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Crist is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai by hy V, Blaine's Farm and Fleet, Quick Trip, by Adidas, Pick and Save, by Zimbrick European, and by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. I came in not even planning to get a Mercedes, just hoping to get some information on some other vehicles. It ended up being the best financial decision to go with a Mercedes and go with the lease program that they offered at the time. It was a very safe car, a beautiful car. I could afford it comfortably, and I was pretty excited to get behind the wheel of a Mercedes. I had no idea how nice driving a car could be. Drive the 2016 Mercedes-Benz C300 4Matic Sports Sedan starting at 41875. Here's to the Daily Navigator, the hard charger of a thousand tasks. At Quick Trip, we're dedicated to bringing you good fresh food without a middleman's markup, just steps from your car. Delivered daily, so it's always fresh, always low priced, always in a jiffy. For a limited time, pick up a pound of Nature's Touch Butter for $2.99 or a dozen Grade A large eggs for $1.59. Quick Trip, big on fresh, low on price. Game night, that magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered and you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet, so Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together and you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with spectrum internet. Where will it take you? 
I grew up on a family dairy farm. I as well grew up on a dairy farm. At the time, we didn't appreciate growing up on the farm. The baby calves, that was where my passion was. I found it and I knew that I wanted to keep pursuing a lifestyle or a career in taking care of the young ones. There's been a, a Norman Rockwell image of dairy farming that's been painted for a lot of people. And if they see past that and they see all the different aspects of what the farm really provides, I think they'll be hooked. Point of emphasis this week in practice to practice harder and uh, to finish all the runs and and hit top speeds and stuff like that. So I mean, Coach said we weren't we didn't feel really challenged by Coach said, but we we were ch we challenged ourselves because um, this season hasn't been the season we wanted running the ball and we we had to make sure that we uh, put put an end to that. I think we've been a, a great defense all year um, and we just haven't got those turnovers. It just the ball bounced the wrong way sometimes, and I think today just for us just flying around to the football, putting our hats on the ball. Um, and being able to come up in those opportunities when they presented themselves uh, was big. You know, getting those two fumbles and putting us in position to you know, have a short field, I think they recovered one on like the 50, another one you know, right around the same spot, maybe even farther into our territory. So you know, when you can get the ball on a short field and get a momentum swing like that, you know, it's big to be able to capitalize. And I thought you know, it, was, it was good of us on offense to be able to do that. Growing up, I watched this game. I remember coming here, watching my big brother play. And uh, after all the injuries I've been going through, it's awesome to run out that tunnel and play in a big time game and have an impact. So I mean, like you said, the turnovers, it was great to finally see them pay off and uh, show in a game. Because I mean, they've been coming to practice. It's just awesome to see in such a big time game like the Axe. Gives me some bragging rights back home and in the state. Um, and, you know, it's a big rivalry. It's the longest in history. And, um, it's fun. It's always a fun game to play in. It's a good atmosphere out there. It's a sticking point, especially for the seniors, to, to retain the ax and kind of keep it in Madison. It's been here for a long time, and you obviously you don't want to be the, the, the class that gives it over to Minnesota. When we came in, you know, that tradition was already there. You know, that standard was set. And the older guys did a great job teaching us younger guys when we were young that you know this this game means a lot and that axe means a lot every day when you come to the locker room you see it and <clears throat> you got to keep seeing every single day when you come in the locker room so um, that's what we did this week we tried to you know early on get the younger guys to see the importance behind it and then bring the energy and practice to step it up a little bit and then today you know bring the energy and bring that urgency to keep that action bring it back to Madison I'm Carl Rick with Quick Trip, and my family, along with our nearly 15,000 co-workers, would like to salute the brave men and women who defend our country every day. This season, Quick Trip will match your contributions up to $50,000 to Camp Hometown Heroes, which benefits the children of our fallen military members. That's a potential of $100,000 to support the children of those that paid the ultimate price for our freedom. This camp provides me with an opportunity to understand that it's okay to grieve. Visit hometownheroes.org to donate today. On, On Wisconsin! Wisconsin. Leitner again back to throw. Heavy pressure, and down goes Leitner. Vince Beagle blasting into the backfield and nailing the Minnesota quarterback. Thank you, and good night. Well, believe it or not, the regular season has come to an end, but the good news is there is one more game as the Badgers will be bowling, destination to be determined in the coming days. But just to say the Badgers are going bowling again, that's something that is... Uh, been a part of this program now every year since 2002. That's no small task. I know there are a lot of bowls out there, but to avoid the really down year, that's not easy, right? I mean, that's, a, that's an accomplishment to know that you've got a game coming up. I think it is, and it's uh, every time. I remember the first bowl that I was a part of, you know, was as a player, but then as a coach coming back here, and we had to win the last game to get to it, and it's, uh, it's a sign of a couple things. You know, you won enough games, to earn a right to play another game. And, and for me personally as a coach, you know, I really enjoy the, being around this team. And it gives you another month with this group of guys. And I think that it's, uh, it's always one more challenge. Appreciate that, the, the extra practices that you get are great for your younger players. And there's a certain energy to it that you just, you know, you point towards and you want to become bowl eligible and then you want to make it the best bowl that you possibly can. And so you're always, uh, very appreciative of the fact of earning the right to play another game. I wanted to get into a little bit your approach and how you want to conduct the practices, but first things first with the regular season over, 
Is there a little downtime for players and maybe, you know, recruiting opportunities coming up here for coaches? That's exactly it. You know, so the first, there's two weeks that we can be on the road recruiting. So we'll maximize those opportunities, come back on the weekend. And, and the first weekend, we'll go with a developmental practice. And it's really for the young guys. And some of the guys that traveled maybe played a little bit, but, you know, they're here and, I know they want to play football some more, so they'll come out and <laughs> practice it. And, and then there's a group of guys, it's been a long season. Now, I say that, and sometimes the days get long, but the season has flown by. Yeah. But there are, is a group that we need to make sure that they just kind of rest and recover. They'll have a couple days in the weight room. So everyone will get a couple days in the weight room. I, I like the direction we're going with that. we got to keep that going in the weight room. And yet there's another group of that we just want to play some football with. And so we'll do the developmental, and then the following week we'll get the guys that played a lot of minutes back into it. I would imagine if you've looked back through the years, I don't know if off the top of your head you could come up with it, but through your years here, that bowl practices with the developmental players, there's a big jump, and somebody that maybe the, the average fan may not know who so-and-so is, he becomes something, maybe in large part, by the impression that he or they have been able to make in those bowl practices? There's no doubt about it. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that they change through the fall, and yet you get a lot of opportunity in fall camp. But some of them don't even know really what they're doing. I'm talking about freshmen. Yeah. And, and maybe the plays, or maybe there's been a switch in position. And that I think the bowl practice does is there's enough times where you're playing where a kid can have success. And with that success, he gains a little bit of confidence. And then if he has a chance to repeat that, gains a little bit more confidence. And there's nothing more powerful than a player with confidence. And you're not crowned with it. Some guys bring it in. Very few keep that confidence level. They're trying to prove to themselves they can play. And I think bowl practice gives those opportunities. One more opportunity to play. And with those opportunities, there's growth. And, and I remember every year you could point to guys that Remember when the light kind of came on in the bowl practice? And what that does, it fuels them in their off-season training. So now they've got a little bit more confidence going into spring ball. And spring ball is a chance to make a huge jump. Absolutely. I've always been fascinated, too, with Coach when Barry was here. You know, obviously, he had a great bowl record. One of the tricks I've heard him talk about it and other coaches is making sure that as coaches you don't outsmart yourself. You've got that extra time, and obviously you're gonna you're gonna know your opponent as well as you can. But is that one of the things that that maybe everybody has to guard against? Don't you know? It's like the old line: "Don't make it more than what it is." Uh, when you're getting ready for this absolutely, kind of game. And, and I think there's been times where um, I've been guilty of you know having too much offense in for a bowl game. You can't get to it all, and I think I've done a better job recently of knowing what got you to this and and at the same time they're going to have a lot of information on you you're going to have information on them but it still does come down to playing the game yeah. and so what's the best plan for your players to to enjoy the bowl experience but the number one way to enjoy it is playing well and, and finally and you've already touched on it a bit is it important to you wherever the destination is whatever functions there are to encourage your players hey take this in, take that in, do what, you, do what you need to do to get ready, but enjoy it too? You have to. And, and I think that it is one of those that you've earned the right to play in a bowl game. And so with that statement, you're playing a game and you got to do everything you can. You know, they're hosting us and our, our gift to them is playing and play well. You know, so there's a little bit of a relationship there, but you've also earned the right and it is a celebration of a season. It's a celebration for the seniors of their career and, and you got to keep that in check but I think you got to maximize every bit of it and you know that going in so we're going to make sure that the plan you know we'll go through a week of preparation with the game plan here and then we'll be repeating it at the bowl site so if you just went with a normal week you'd have to focus on too much so you kind of know that going in and I think early in the in the bowl you want the players to get out, and then you want them to, they're still going to remember that game, and they're going to want to play well. Some it's their last game, some it's their first bowl game, you know, whatever that may be. And, and last year was a great example here of, you know what, winning a bowl game is a good thing. Oh, absolutely. And, it, and the momentum it can carry in. So I think you try to balance it out, and at the end of the day, players got to go play. We got to coach them, and 
Uh, feel very fortunate, though, to be going bowling. Absolutely. It was a thriller last year, without a doubt, and we'll find out together what's in store this year when we find out where they're going and who the Badgers are going to play. But we know there is one more game to see this team, this 2015 group, together one more time. We'll be back in a few minutes with the Great Dane Great Question of the Week, that and more as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. Some call it a miracle. Others call it science. But for those who've needed a kidney transplant like Kelly Krager, they simply call it a new lease on life. For nearly five decades, UW Health and the University of Wisconsin have been national leaders in the field of kidney transplant, providing a new life for recipients and assuring a normal life for living donors. Miracle? Science? Maybe it's a little bit of both. UW Health. Remarkable. It's back. It's Nissan's holiday event. Now with special Black Friday offers. Right now, lease Altima just $179 per month. Or get a $139 per month lease on Sentra. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. At Pick and Save, you'll find a little bit of Wisconsin in every aisle. We're proud to provide hundreds of local products from all across the state, all at everyday low prices. Because as lifelong Wisconsinites, we love this great state just as much as you do. Believe you me. Pick and Save, where Wisconsin saves on groceries. Game night. That magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered. And you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet. So Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together. And you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with spectrum internet. Where will it take you? Bud Meyer back to throw, a little roll to the right, looking, winds up, and he's throwing a deep right side for Abraderis. Got it at the 30, right side 20. Abraderis the 10, the 5, touchdown Wisconsin. It was very, very special being here as a player. You know, I loved my time here and, and uh, all the experiences I had and obviously didn't go the way um, I would have liked it to with injuries and uh, having to take a medical uh, hardship, but, you know, Got into it at the end of my career here. Got into coaching a little bit and was doing some some student student assisting, and um, then was out in Pittsburgh last year with Coach Kristen to come back. I would have never guessed it would be this soon, uh, but I was honored when Coach Chris uh, wanted to bring me back with him, and uh, it's an unbelievable privilege to be back here in, in Madison, and it's a special place to me just because of all those experiences that I've had, and you know I truly feel good and bad experiences that kind of mold who you are as a person and. Even those tough ones that I went through here, it shaped who I am and really happy to be back. It's been a few years since I've been back, but definitely different. Um, obviously, I don't live on campus anymore. I'm not doing the whole student life right now, but uh, yeah, I'm a little bit older, a little wiser, but it's been, it's been a good you know, adjustment back. I was out at Pitt last year, and we had a lot, of, a lot of the same guys that are here now out there, so that kind of felt like home for a little bit, but just coming back and reuniting with all the uh, you know the people that are a part of the program here has been been great. When I first got out there a lot of people called it Madison East you know what I mean mm -hmm. because coach had brought in so many people out there with him uh, but then when he came back it, that number you know just stayed the same if not got bigger and so it is cool though it's cool having the guys you know just about every GA and quality control guy had played here and so they went through it and they would had the experiences and you know, can share some some similar advice to that what they got when they went through here to the guys that are here now. And a lot of guys ask a lot of good questions, and you try to give them the wisdom, you know, back how it was when you played. But at the same time, you want to kind of give them the keys and let it be their team. I think the one memory that comes back to me is my senior year when we uh, had beat Ohio State here, just because I'm an Ohio guy, so that was good to get after those guys, but that was one of the memories that stick out to me. A lot of what I've learned has come from him, just because I've played for him, and then uh, you know, my only coaching experience is, is under him, and so uh, there's so much as a player um, that I took from him and always felt so prepared, you know what I mean? When, we, when I was playing under him, I felt so prepared going out there. and. Uh, you know, 
knew everything that I needed to know, but didn't know everything that he did that got us to that point. And so it's cool now seeing that transition, being with him day to day, what he does to get his players to that point. And I'm just trying to be a sponge and take in as much of that as I can so then I can apply it when my time's ready and, and give that back to the guys. This senior salute is brought to you by Hyundai. I've definitely matured in, I mean, various ways. I think uh, I grew more responsible. Uh, I grew more to care about the guys. Not saying I didn't before, but just the care factor and just caring about these guys. You know, as we moved on from you know day one when we got here to till even now, I just uh, it's just grown. Uh, so much, and then um, I think a lot of I've, I've improved in a lot of ways that are uh, really can't be measured. I just you know continue to just love this program, and love the, the the people in this program, and who I meet, and who comes through here. Growing up, couldn't even have dreamed about you know what I've done here, and what has happened. You know, it was so you know it's just it's almost like it was unreal. But the things that have happened. You know, I've happened all for positive reasons, and they're all things that I have. I'm so you know proud of the guys who I, was, I did it with, and uh, I couldn't even I couldn't have dreamt it better. I think of how you know resilient we are, and how we've come through, coming through. We've we've faced so much adversity, and how we just pushed through it, whether it's been changes or you know just with football or critics or whatever it is, you know individual stuff. You know I think that we've We've really come a long way. I think that makes us a, a special group. Snap back to Beathard. Badgers bring it four. Pressure's on. And as he throws, picked off by Michael Caputo at the 45 of Iowa, where he rolls to the turf. A couple games, or at least one game, is when we beat Auburn in the bowl game. That was big for me. That was my first bowl game win uh, here at Wisconsin. And then the other things are, you know, just being around the guys here, you know, on and off the field, you know, just, just really – being around all of them, being around the coaching staff, uh, those are great memories that I'll, I'll cherish forever. It, it's, it means a lot to me, it shaped who I am, being a Badger, and uh, it'll, it'll honestly help me th get through a lot of things in life because uh, the experiences that I've had here, what I've learned while I was here, it'll help me improve myself you know, from here on out. Throw in Bucky and you got yourself a deal. Okay. Go check out your new Hyundai. I'll be with you in just a minute. All Wisconsin. To some of us, home improvement isn't a chore. It's a privilege and a satisfying part of owning your own home. The tools and supplies you choose need to be able to deliver the same quality that you demand of the work you do. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we understand, and we want to help you achieve the best job possible. For your next home repair or home improvement project, we'd like to help you make your life better with genuine value. From Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Three band-aids. Two band-aids. Three band-aids. At UW Health, we specialize in performing the most complex of procedures through the smallest of incisions. These minimally invasive surgeries mean our patients heal faster, scar less, and are back to their lives that much sooner. One band-aid. UW Health. 
remarkable. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By hy V. Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Quick Trip. By Adidas. Pick and Save. By Zimbrick European. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Time now for the Great Dane Great Question of the Week, and we check in with Betty up in Hudson, who uh, she suggests that it, would, it might be a little, it might take a little while when you when you come here in a, in a coaching transition to get to know the players, but by this time of year, do you think you and your staff have a pretty good grip on, on what this group is all about? Yeah, I think it's a good question by Betty, and it's, uh, we certainly know this team. I hope to continue to get to know it a lot better. You know, I think it takes time, it goes, you know, different experiences that you have to go through and it's the, the high times, the low times and, and yet I think that you always have to continue to keep trying to understand your players. I think now we know them to where we can maybe get to that next two, three layers. You know, you know what his reason is for playing. You know his family background a little bit more. And so I think you're, you know, so with many of them you're still just scratching the surface but we definitely know them better now than we did uh, six months ago, but hopefully uh, learn a lot more from our team. Absolutely. Betty, we thank you very much for your question. The Great Dane with four locations in Madison, downtown, the east side, Fitchburg as well as Hilldale, and of course the Great Dane up in Wausau as well. well. We'll find out together the Badgers' bold destination, and we will preview that game when the time is right. In the meantime, join us next week as we turn our attention back to Wisconsin basketball as Bo Ryan guides his team through a very challenging non-conference schedule. Thanks for watching. Throw in Bucky and you got yourself a deal. Okay. Go check out your new Hyundai. I'll be with you in just a minute. All Wisconsin. I came in not even planning to get a Mercedes, just hoping to get some information on some other vehicles. It ended up being the best financial decision to go with a Mercedes and go with the lease program that they offered at the time. It was a very safe car, a beautiful car. I could afford it comfortably, and I was pretty excited to get behind the wheel of a Mercedes. I had no idea how nice driving a car could be. Drive the 2016 Mercedes-Benz C300 4Matic Sports Sedan starting at 41875. Here's to the tailgate-aholics, the connoisseurs of cheese, the block party planners, and the unsuccessful ice fishermen. We tip our cheese-shaped hats made of foam to you because you are true Wisconsinites. And Pick and Save is proud to be the place you go to save on thousands of grocery items every day. After all, we're from Wisconsin too, don't you know? Pick and Save, where Wisconsin saves on groceries.